This coming Saturday night and Sunday mark the holiday of Simchat Torah. Jews around the world will celebrate the completion of the annual cycle of reading the Torah and beginning it anew. And this celebration is done by taking out all the Torahs from the Ark, dancing around in circles and singing songs speaking of our love and dedication to Torah. I'd like to share with you a very powerful story that I think contains an important message for this holiday. It was the end of the summer of 1945 when a group of Holocaust survivors decided that they were going to leave the displaced persons camp and try and make their way to their hometown of Vilna to see if anyone had survived the war. When they arrived at the synagogue, they saw it had been bolted shut by the communists. These Holocaust survivors were not going to be deterred. They broke into the synagogue and what they saw shook them to the core. Scraps of prayer books, bullet holes, blood stains on the walls. It was exactly as they remembered when they were taken away by the Nazis. Then they turned to the Eastern Wall, the Holy Ark. It was gone, as were the Torahs. They decided that they were gonna to begin to clean up the synagogue. They picked up the scraps of the prayer books. They started to wash the walls. And then one of the survivors said, it's Simchat Torah. We need to dance, we need to sing. And they looked at him like he had lost his mind. How are we gonna dance? How are we gonna sing? After what we've been through? And even if we wanted to sing and dance, we don't have any Torahs to dance with. And the man said, it is Simchat Torah, we have to dance. And all of a sudden, they heard some noise by the front door of the synagogue. And they became very scared, thinking that it was the KGB. So this man who wanted to do the dancing, he snuck over to the doors, peered through the cracks. And what he saw for the first time in many years was a little boy and a little girl. He opened the door and said, what are you doing here? And they said, we are Jewish. but." We don't know where to go. We don't have anyone left. And the man bent down and he picked up the boy and girl, embraced them, turned to his friends and said, we now have our Torah scrolls. And they all took turns holding the little boy and the little girl and danced and singing, celebrating Simchat Torah. 65 years later, that man and that boy were reunited for the very first time in Detroit. The man, was Rabbi Leo Goldman, who went on to become an educator par excellence. And that little boy grew up to be Mr. Abe Foxman, the former director of the Anti-Defamation League. I don't need to tell you all of Mr. Foxman's accomplishments. And Mr. Foxman says that it was that moment when he was hoisted by those Holocaust survivors and held tight while they danced around in circles that he, for the very first time, began to feel a sense of Jewish pride. It was at that moment, he says, that he decided he wanted to develop a Jewish identity. Imagine one little gesture, one little dance, instilled in this little boy the motivation to accomplish everything that he has accomplished. My friends, in today's world of instant gratification, we have to make Judaism fun, meaningful, exciting, inspirational, and relevant if we are going to succeed in inspiring the next generation to develop a strong, committed Jewish identity. And that is something that JSU does day in and day out. We go into the public and private high schools with our pizza, and we talk to the teens about the issues that they're interested in. And we do it through a Jewish lens. And it is there that they find the meaning and the relevance of Judaism to their daily lives. So this Simchat Torah, as we celebrate, whether it is at home or whether it's at synagogue, think about ways to make Judaism fun and exciting for your children or for your grandchildren. And if you need ideas, if you need suggestions, please call upon us. That's what we're here for. And if we are able to do that together, then we can ensure that we will have a bigger and brighter and greater Jewish future. Best wishes for a happy and healthy holiday. And may the joy of Simchat Torah carry with us throughout the entire year. Chag Sameach.